That Chanel shit, I like that. Got your own ride, I like that. Hey babies and welcome back to my channel. If you are new right here, welcome to the family. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey baby. So we're gonna have this chat. So why do you use setting powders? You use setting powders to set your face. So I know it's called a setting powder and it's self-explanatory, but it's really not that simple. Anything that is liquid, you have to set with powder because if you don't set it with powder it's going to move around it's going to get patchy or it's going to crack that is the first reason why you use um setting powders right and the reason why i use one with um a yellow tint that is like why i usually go for the banana yellows and the yellows and the what 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 I usually use that to accentuate my highlights so obviously I will highlight my face with concealer or whatever whatever but I will use that yellow um, setting powder to actually accentuate the highlights to bring out the concealer color a little much better I have here two drugstore powders I have the Revolution Luxury Banana Powder and I have the LA Girl Pro Powder in Banana Yellow now from the packaging uh, right off the bed I really really liked the LA Girl because it's more there's more space you can literally use it without like wasting a lot of product so you can open it like this and like you can like use it however way you want without like wasting a lot of product and that's what i liked about the la girl and with the revolution i didn't like i'm not too much of a fan of the packaging of the revolution because it is quite um it limits you you know it limits you so and you can find yourself wasting a lot of product when you are using the revolution i'm gonna go right ahead and just like quickly apply my concealer so I have put on my foundation. I did my foundation um, routine. And um, now I'm just going to apply my concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm sure you guys are like familiar with this. Um, it's been around. So I'm just going to like apply my concealer. I don't know why I'm doing this on camera because this is just. This is a video for the powders, but anyway, a trick about, a tip actually about the concealer is that bring it up to your nose a little bit. It's going to help with your contour. So I'm going to conceal and highlight at the same time. So when I do my foundation, you guys, I'm going to do a detailed, um, flawless foundation, um, tutorial because I think on the concealer chat we need to talk so if you are hearing any sounds you guys it's the air conditioner it's on like it's quite humid where I am it's very hot so that is why I have their air conditioner on I'm just simply gonna blend this concealer out whoa you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go blend out of this concealer and then come back and just with the rest of my face it kind of done then come back and set you know three days later okay you guys so i am back and i'm looking a little um crazy but i just concealed and um highlighted a little bit so i have here my two bad boys that i'm going to be comparing um the la go pro powder and the revolution banana powder um i don't bake my face like i don't bake at all like i don't bake it's not for me so i use this um real this brush and uh, this brush is from real techniques it is a setting brush and that's exactly what it does it sets right it does just that so we're gonna start with the LA girl um, pro powder we're gonna start setting with that um, it looks quite good for me I like the packaging I've been raving about the LA girl pro powder packaging um, I've only used the LA girl pro powder once and that was on my birthday and that is because I forgot my powder so here it is right I'm just gonna because I've tried to film 
I've tried to film this video before so I on my first one I really I'm gonna highlight with the LA girl on the side on the side okay so what I noticed was when I did my first few videos I actually filmed this twice and this is like the third time what I did was I really like went overboard with the LA girl like I put too much on my face at the same time and it, it turned white it turned pretty pretty white for me it was white on my face and I didn't quite like that but on my second video um, I just hated the lighting on that video like it wasn't grand like it wasn't you know my kind of lighting I, I put just a minimum like just enough and it worked out quite great so um, here I am sitting see if you put too much with the LA girl you will look a little bit white so don't put too much I think this is as far as I'm gonna go with the LA girl and then I'm gonna just go to the other side and sit with the revolution I'm not too crazy about the packaging at all so let us sit the side let us sit with the the revolution so the revolution is quite yellow compared to the LA girl even when you pick it up with the brush it is quite yellow like it is quite yellow even when you pick it up with the brush it's quite yellow so I'm just gonna dust that off a little bit and then I'm gonna go right ahead and sit so the reason why I like to sit with can you see that it's still yellow so the reason why I like to sit with a setting brush is because I can go over like any fine lines that I didn't go over with my with my beauty blender and I'm a brush girl like you know I like brushes they make so much sense like they make my life easier like using a brush is just it's, you know what it comes with its own perks and you can actually like control the product I think that's as heavy as I'm gonna go with the revolution I'm just gonna sit with the revolution here because I get very sweaty here I do have nose I have hair I have a young starch here so this also helps like lay it down okay guys so I look crazy I know I'm gonna go right ahead you guys have seen how they both apply both of them both sides you've seen how they apply okay I think I missed a spot you guys have seen how they apply okay and how they both look from um, both angles okay so i'm gonna go right ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and finish my face and put some hair on because i don't have any and um i'm gonna come right back and i'm um, gonna show you how it looks and how everything is looking from my end a few moments later hey guys welcome back so i'm finally done my makeup is all done we are all highlighted looking like a glazed donut but it is what it is it is what it is the la girl is on the side and the revolution is on the side on my previous video what i did is i set my eye area which has a lot of creasing i set my eye area with the la girl this side and i did set with um the revolution on this side so i'm going to insert a picture of how they both held up because usually um because usually um, my eye area is where I tend to crease the most but at the moment I'm really really happy with how they're looking none of them is like giving me um, a great effect which is what I like and what I know um, about makeup is that when you have makeup on right we all have texture on our skin right so another thing is that if your powder is like finely milled right it is supposed to sit into the, the texture it is not supposed to accentuate the the texture in your skin it is su actually supposed to suppress it a little bit so that's if you like get the right powder yeah right now everything is looking set everything is just looking 
real good and it's just the way it's supposed to be who else gets a running nose when like they put their makeup on like gosh guys i am absolutely 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 happy with how everything is looking currently at the moment so we're gonna come back and um gonna tell you the time i'm gonna tell you the time i'm gonna find my phone and i'm gonna come back and tell you the time okay so it's 16 13 right now and um i'm going to come back later on probably around 10 11 12 i don't know i'll come back later on to tell you guys how the pub the pub how the how the powders performed and which one i liked the most um at the moment still there's there's really nothing so i'll come back later on and tell you guys how everything worked out many months later yeah looking at my mirror um on the revolution side um it is separating under my eyes and i did mention earlier on that i do crease on uh, under my eyes i do crease a lot so yeah it is separating um and there is a little bit of um grayness here i don't know what that's about but i really really feel like i under um underestimated the la girl because everything is still intact on the la girl um what i have what i do notice is that there's a little bit of like streaks there's like a little bit of separation but in order for anyone to notice that it's separating they'd have to really come close to me they'd have to be looking for the separation to see it i do have a little grayness here but that could be anything i haven't retouched my makeup i haven't done anything um yeah i think the la girl is currently leading so the la girl has one up on the revolution so what i like about the revolution is that it gives you the highlights you know that yellow it does give off that yellow the la girl sinks into the skin um there's not that much of um a defining highlight on the la girl but i still love the fact that it sinks into the skin i think this is is like more expensive than this one i think so um if i had to rate these <laughs> you know you'd be so surprised on my last videos this one was like the least favorite but i think with this one it's because i didn't know how to use it i was using too much and that's because i'm used to a certain powder but i was using too much of this so with the la girl you kind of want to have a light hand with it when you're using it because you will turn white if you're not using it correctly you'll turn white and nobody wants to look like Becky with the banana powder I don't know guys honestly I feel like um, it has a, its pros and it has its cons right now it is separating as I've mentioned and um, I like the highlight that it gives me so i'm not really sure why it's separating i don't want to lie i'm not really sure but um it is great um it does sink into the skin also and it does give you that highlight i would rate these two as i would give the revolution i would rate the la girl right now i would honestly rate the la girl an eight which i rated a six on my first video but again that was because i was not using it right and i would rate the revolution a seven i can't believe i'm saying this but i'll rate the revolution a seven and i would rate the la girl an eight um the la girl is more reasonable than the revolution and um it is very very effective um so yeah um in terms of the amount of product the la girl gives you 36 and okay so oh all right 
So the LA girl is more than the banana powder. Is that so? Okay. Well, um, that's another that's another pro, I guess, for the LA girl. So yeah, guys, um, that was my take on the powders. I did do two videos prior to this one so trust me i did do my research on these powders thank you guys so so much for tuning in and watching me i will see you guys on my next video and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any content from me see you on my next video bye that chanel shit i like that got your own ride i like that